What kind of house are you building? You might think you're building this one. I did in 2017, in July, but I was building this one. I had no clue. I was shit out of luck. My energy was all over the place. Mood up and down. I thought this was normal. Oh, hell no. As my coach told me at the end of 2017, he said, Mark, he said, dude, he said, come on. If you're having any more than a few off days a month, you're doing something wrong. And that excited the hell out of me because I thought to myself, well, shit, if I can predict my performance and it's going to be consistent and I'm going to kick ass most of the month, holy, holy shit, what can I achieve? Well, 2019, I wrote a book and had it published on Amazon and I'm no one special. I just started selecting for A and B grade androgenic foods and fixed my omega balance and I got these estrogenic like endocrine disrupting chemicals out and I kept building materials and workers in the system 24 seven so I could do that. Would you like to see how we do that? Well, in this video, we're gonna do three things. Show you how to, to uh, produce lots of testosterone and DHEA and why. Because you wanna show up like Harley, right? Well, you need this to happen. You need lots of energy. This requires lots of superior building materials and also workers to keep these metabolic pathways working 24 seven. So we can show up like Harvey, we've got the energy, we feel good. I wanna show you why you're also tired and uh, you struggle with fat loss. And this is all to do with the building materials you select for and the workers. You can't lose fat if you've got no workers. You're just storing fat. That's the whole problem. This is what I was doing. So, right here, too far. Amiga Wars, have you seen that video yet? You wanna check that out because you've got low grade inflammation. You got these cytokines that I'm circling around. They cross into the brain and they go around switching off neural circuits like rational thought and willpower, executive control, we lose focus and we become distracted. But, you know, this is where we think it's a character flaw. It's not a character flaw. We just lack workers and superior building materials. It's pretty simple to fix. And it's gonna blow your mind how easy it is to fix, but we have to move away from the Western diet because it fuels this. It's packed full of omega-6. So we become unbalanced and it leads to this low-grade inflammation, increased stress hormones. We're stressed out, we feel like shit. We think it's us and a character flaw. Oh, hell no. It's no character flaw. We've got no serotonin in our brain for executive control. We can't make great decisions. We're emotional as fuck. Pardon my French. But you can see the problem here. Now, right there. Glutathione. It mops up the mess. But guess what? It requires A and B grade building materials, proteins. See, glutathione is a three amino acid building material. That's, it's called glutathione. So you need glutamate, cysteine, glycine. Now you see this breakfast I'm circling around that the Western, uh, you know, Western diet says, you know, you can have this shit. Yeah, you can have that shit, shit if you don't want to support glutathione. It's got hardly any of these aminos in it. So you're going to have low glutathione and eventually it leads to this shit. You can see I'm a bit vexed about it because the Western diet with my bad genetics has stolen so much of my life. I've had five shoulder surgeries because of it. My pop died of an asthma attack, which should never have happened. I thought I was going to die of an asthma attack. I've had allergies, high blood pressure, mood swings, no energy, crap hormones, all because of the Western diet. So this other one on the right here, it's B grade, so it's not quite there, but it's not far away. And uh, guess, guess how glutathione is made when you've got these three aminos? Workers, workers put them together. Let me show you how that works. So that's a big image of this breakfast. This is just absolute garbage, full of sugar. Did you know that every sugar molecule burns through 54, 54 magnesiums? where I'm circling around here. So this is where it gets interesting. So energy flux, storing fat or burning. So every time we wanna you know, use energy, 
for whatever we're doing, it requires ATP, adenosine triphosphate. And when we release energy, it's just like, you know, a match going off. The phosphate is released. And guess how that phosphate is released? Magnesium comes along and is bound to it and that phosphate is released. Did you know that 70% of people on the planet are lacking magnesium? So when that is true, when you lack magnesium, what can the body do with that energy? Well, it stores it away as fat. So that's the fat flux, this one thing alone, lacking magnesium. And it becomes a little bit worse with this crappy fortified synthetic vitamin rich <laughs> breakfast. Check this out, this is cool. All right, so you're gonna waste through glutathione and we know how important that is. It's a master antioxidant, it mops up all the inflammation and mess but it also wastes CME. And as you'll soon see here, it's a, it's a double whammy. I'll explain this in a second, but just let's have a look here. So the government fortify your breads and your cereals and your sports drinks with uh, this thing called cyanocobalamin. Now, cobalamin is B12, and it has two active forms down here, methylcobalamin for the cytosol in the cells, then you've got adenosyl for the mitochondria. So two different versions. And you can get both versions through A and B grade foods. A and B grade androgenic foods. Not this garbage, not Western garbage. Because it's fortified with this shit. So as soon as you start eating it, you're wasting glutathione and CME. So it comes down this pathway and you waste a whole bunch of workers here. You waste glutathione up here. Then you waste more workers down here. And then if you want it, want it to go into the mitochondria to make sex hormones, that's right. The mitochondria are the first step of creating sex hormones and also DHEA, well known for it, well known for its effects on how you feel, feelings of well-being, caring, but also vigor, strength and vitality. But look, it requires ATP. What happens if you don't have magnesium? Not too much at all. Not too much at all. We uh we, we waste all the glutathione and CME and then we piss, piss the rest of it out if we don't have <laughs> magnesium. And this is what you're eating in your breads and your cereals and Western food. Do you see what I'm saying here? Inside the Mark Iron Method and the cheat sheet there, we've got the one ingredient method which fixes all this bullshit. And here's another layer, another big problem. Now, remember how glutathione requires cysteine, an amino acid, to be made. Three, three amino acids. Let's just scoot back up here and have a look. So, it requires glutamate, cysteine, and glycine. You get that through A and B grade androgenic foods, and that's available in the cheat sheet. And the one ingredient method. One ingredient method. Now, this crap here has opioid peptides in it. So you get it from wheat, milk, but also soy proteins. Anything that's got soy in it and soy is everywhere. I had a look at my pantry and 90% of the boxed food had, had soy in it. Holy shit. So we're, we are being inhibited by two things. These synthetic vitamins fortified in the foods. So they keep us just going. Just enough energy to, you know, to struggle through the day with willpower. And then another layer on top of that, these opioid peptides inhibit cysteine uptake and the consequences are low SAME, which we need you know, for if you want to burn fat, if you want to create neurotransmitters like serotonin and melatonin, you need SAME. And it lowers glutathione, the master antioxidant. And um, just back up here, actually, we're just here. Look what, uh, you know, eventually, uh, time, you know, in, in time, all this happens. Thyroid, asthma, allergies, immune disorders, yeah. acne, viral infections, brain. We just turn to mush. This is how your body makes testosterone. So we don't really need supplements. We don't really need supplements and I've got this up here and I'll explain what that is and how important it is to increasing testosterone production overall. So we need workers, 
and superior building materials to accomplish this task. Well, your body does. So uh, that's the mitochondria, and that's the first step to creating testosterone and DHEA, the performance hormones in question. And uh, there are five sub-steps before that can happen. Now, if you don't have high cortisol or inflammation, then this work can commence. So step number one is this LHE, which is a glycoprotein hormone called luteinizing hormone, knocks on the door of the cell. And then it can come in if everything's hunky-dory. Step two is you need ATP. ATP, and we need, that means we need magnesium. So if you've got low magnesium, it fails at this step. Even if you've got inflammation under control, even if you've got optimal levels of cortisol. So if you've got low magnesium, this we slow to a crawl. Testosterone slows to a crawl. Now let's just say that you've got plenty of magnesium. The, set, the third thing we need is nitrous oxide. So again, here's a building material, L-arginine, which is an amino acid. Let's just say you're selecting for A and B grade androgenic foods. Cool. So we've got one, two, and three supported. The fourth thing we need is this worker here. Now look at this over here. The control, who had low levels of this, testosterone slowed to a crawl. When they supplemented, well, they didn't supplement, they just got them good nutrition. Look at where testosterone went, through the roof. Now, we also need cholesterol. If you've got if you're on a statin, cholesterol lowering, or you just got low cholesterol, you haven't got enough to make optimal high levels of testosterone. And I've got another video on that explaining what the new science, it came out in 2019, said we need for healthy cholesterol levels. And it's completely different than what we've been uh, told. So if you've got all these five steps, you're gonna be making lots of testosterone 24 seven. So as you can see, it's extremely important to have workers and superior building materials in your body 24 seven. And if that is the case, then day after day, week after week, month after month, you're gonna be kicking ass. You're gonna be playing it like Harvey Specter because you've got the system working for you, not against you, because now you're selecting for A and B grade androgenic foods. Now, just to show you and just one more problem before we finish out here, is that, you know, inflammation, as I mentioned, it stops testosterone production, but also DHEA. And over time, it contributes to hypogonadism, which means you meet your, your, your ball sacs getting smaller. You've got less machinery to make high levels of testosterone, so you want to get this under control as soon as you can. However, you can bring these guys back up in line. And that's for another video, but just realize that you can do it. But right here, when you are inhibiting the production of testosterone, low testosterone concentrations are strong predictors of frailty, holy shit, disability, cardiovascular events that negatively influence muscle mass and we get fat. I did a couple of interviews with Dr. Anthony J and they spoke to this and also Dr. Amy B. Keelan and there should be information on this page to go check those videos out. But a big, another big problem that you face is having no understanding of what these estrogenic like endocrine disrupting chemicals are because they have contributed to testosterone being lowered twofold since 1940. So to fix that, it's pretty simple, but we have to know where these little uh, estrogenic-like endocrine disrupting chemicals are hiding and they're kind of everywhere. Below, you should be able to see how to access that and also how to get access to the cheat sheet that I've got in the Mark Iron method. So you've got a lot of power. You know, we select for A and B grade foods androgenic ones. We have superior building materials, superior proteins for glutathione support, CME production so we can get a good night's sleep. We also get move away from this crap because it's just burning through wasting, you know, 
glutathione and CME and then we have to you know use energy to convert it and magnesium so we're wasting magnesium we're just it's terribly wasteful and then to make matters worse it inhibits the production of glutathione and CME western slave food I mean come on <laughs> we really if you want to perform at a high level like uh, Mr. Harvey Specter up here you can and you could be like me, you might have garbage genetics and you need all the help you can get. So I have garbage genetics, but now my genetics act like they're elite. And you can do this too. 2016, I was building a shit house and I had no idea. My energy was up and down all over the place. The Western diet's got a lot to answer for, but now I'm building a house like this and you can too. And if you want more information, the information is below. The Markai method is there and the cheat sheet is available to you. If you found this interesting and uh, helpful, consider subscribing to my channel and giving this a thumbs up. It truly does help me. I'm here to help because my genetics are garbage. Yours could be too. And I want you playing it up here like Harvey Specter, like I, I do today. And you can do this. You can start building a superior house and you can kick ass. You can have lots of testosterone and DHEA. You can play it like Harvey. I'm Mark Iron, this is the Mark Iron Method.